Hello everyone, this is Teacher Marsha. Welcome back to my tutorials. And today we're going to have a new lesson. It's about comparing and ordering fractions. Okay, when you hear the word comparing and ordering, what comes into your mind? So we rem always remember the story of the crocodile, right? You know, the mouth of the crocodile it always wants to eat the bigger number. Whichever is bigger, you always put the mouth of the crocodile here. So we always remember this crocodile. So we have the greater than and less than. So this symbol is greater than and this is less than. So we will be using these symbols in our lesson for today. But Instead of using whole numbers, we will be comparing and ordering fractions, okay? Okay, so let's begin. So what you can see in your screen is what we call a fraction wall or, or a fraction chart, okay? So basically, we can use this for comparing and ordering fractions because you can see here which one is bigger, which one is smaller, okay so this fraction wall is divided into different parts you will see the first one this is one whole okay so the second one is divided into two parts so each part is one half one half one half the third one is divided into three parts so each part is one third okay the next one is divided into four or quarters. So each part is one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter. Okay, so we also have one fifth, one sixth, one eighth, one tenth, and one twelfth. Each strip is equal to one, okay? Each strip is equal to one whole. So 3 one third is equal to 1 whole, 2 one half is equal to 1 whole, 4 one quarter is equal to 1 whole, and so forth, okay? So this is what we call a fraction wall. And how do we use this for comparing fractions, comparing and ordering fractions? I'm going to show you, okay? So let's go back. So using this fraction wall, we can compare fractions. So in this example, one quarter and one third. So which one is greater? Is it one quarter or one third? Okay, first let's find where is one quarter in this fraction wall. So this is one quarter. Okay, and where is one third? So this is one third. So which is bigger? Is it one third or one quarter? So you will see in the fraction wall that one third is greater than one quarter. So again, you have to remember the story of the crocodile. We have to put the mouth of the crocodile to the bigger number. So in this case, one third is greater. So we have to put here the mouth of the crocodile. So one quarter is less than one third, all right? So let's go to the second example. One half and two fifth. Okay. So where is one half? One half is here. Okay. One half is here. What about two fifths? Two fifths. Okay. So this is one fifth and this is two fifth. We have to put two together so that we can create two fifths. So two fifths is here. And this is one half. So which one is greater? Is it two-fifths or is it one-half? Right, it's one-half, okay? So again, uh, let's put the mouth of the crocodile in one-half. So we can say that one-half is greater than two-fifths, okay? So this is the simplest way of comparing and ordering fraction. But what if there is no fraction wall? How are we going to find or how are we going to compare and order fraction without using the fraction wall? So let's go now to the second method, which is using the least common multiple. Okay, let's go now to the second method. 
finding the least common multiple in order for us to compare an order fraction. So we can use this without the use of the fraction wall because in the exam, you will not be given um, fraction wall, okay? Only in exercises, you are allowed to use fraction wall, but in actual test or exam, you will not be given fraction wall, okay? Or fraction chart. So you have to know this method, okay? You have to find the least common multiple of the denominators. So we have one half and two thirds, okay? One half and two thirds. So what are our denominators here? So our denominator is two and three, okay? So we have to list down the multiples of three, okay? So let's start with two, let's count by two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so forth, okay? Now, let's go to 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so forth, okay? So, let's find the common multiple, least common multiple. It means the smallest multiple, the smallest common multiple for each of the two so as you can see we have here common multiples such as uh, 6 and 6 we also have 12 and 12 but which one is the least or the smallest so our least multiple here is 6 okay so our least common multiple for for 2 and 3 is 6 okay now so we're going to use this this common multiple to find the equivalent fraction okay so let's start with one half okay so our lcm lcm is six okay so we will be using six lcm means least common multiple okay least common multiple Okay, so one half, let's put here one half is equal to, let's put the denominator as six. Okay, so what is the answer if you're going to divide six by two? Six divided by two is equals to three or two times three. So you have to find this, okay? What will you multiply to two to get six? Okay, so two times three is six okay so the number that you multiplied here you're going to multiply it with your numerator okay so two times three is six then let's put here three also one times three is three okay so three six so one half is equal to three six okay one half is equal to three six okay now let's go two thirds okay Again, we will do the same process. Our LCM is 6 or our least common multiple is 6. Okay, what will you multiply to 3 to get 6? We will multiply 2. Okay, so 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Okay, now whatever you multiply to 3, you have to multiply it to your numerator, which is 2. So you multiplied here 2, so you have to multiply here 2 also. 2 times 2 is equal to uh, four. So you have four six. So you see that one half is equal to three six, and two thirds is equal to four six. Okay. So which one is big? Is it four or three? Is it four or three? So of course four is greater. Okay. Four is greater. So it means that two third is greater than one half. Okay, so it means that two third is greater than one half because four is bigger than three. Okay, have another example. Okay, for the 